Hey guys, I have a really exciting update for you guys. So if you have one of the AngiTube webcams and you found me because of the video I did about their autofocus and how horrible it was, so super sensitive, I'll go ahead and link the video for you so you can see it if you want to. But um, basically I had reached out to support because I was so frustrated and they had sent me a link for their app that I could download that would allow me to go in and like turn off autofocus and be able to like tweak the focus, which was really helpful except for two reasons. Number one, um, you had to do it every time if you had like unplugged the camera and put it on another computer, um, which was kind of annoying. Plus their app was a little bit glitchy. Uh, didn't always give me the ability to turn off autofocus. I sometimes had to connect, reconnect, connect, reconnect. And that was kind of annoying too. Um, but also I use this same webcam, not only for the computer I'm on right now, but for the computer I use when I work from home. Um, and so it's a corporate computer and it's very locked down. I can't download apps and things like that. So I just kind of had to keep dealing with it even on that computer. And it was really frustrating. Um, and then recently you may have seen, if you've watched that video, you may have seen in some of the comments, people saying, oh, the link for the app isn't working anymore. And I checked and you were right. It, something was wrong with it. So again, I reached out to support. Um, they were very quick to fix it again and make sure that that link was working. But then they did something amazing. <laughs> they sent me a zip file for a firmware update. And if you don't know what a firmware update is, what that actually does is change the software in the camera. So instead of um, in me having to tweak something on my computer that would allow me to control, you know, the settings on the camera, which is what the app was doing. Um, this is actually like updating and improving the camera, the hardware itself, which means that it works on any computer I plug it into and I don't have to do it over and over and over again. So you are seeing there's still a little bit of um, autofocus happening here and there, but if you've used this camera before, like it's nothing like it used to be. And I have not at all touched the app today. This is just straight up the camera doing this. Now, if I were to, you know, do this, you're still not even seeing autofocus doing anything. It, it does it when I stop moving, right? Or um, if I do like a major move like that and then I stop, it's going to maybe tweak itself. Yeah, like that. But if I'm just sitting here talking and I'm turning my head and normal things that I was doing that was causing it to trigger the autofocus, it's not doing it. Isn't that amazing? So they have graciously thrown this um, download onto their website. So I'm going to go ahead and link that in the description um, so that you can get this firmware update yourself. I'm telling you right now, it makes this a completely new camera. Is it perfect? No, it's still at a price point where you're going to have some things that, you know, are not amazing about it. But for the price point with this firmware update, this is definitely one of the best webcams I've worked with. Um, and don't blame them for the lighting in here. That's me. <laughs> That's because my window is open. And so I'm getting flooded with natural winter light right now. Um, so anyways, make sure that you check out that uh, download link below. If you want the camera, especially now that you know you can get this update, I'm also going to link to the camera um, where you can buy it on Amazon below. The online tools for your business do not need to be complicated and overwhelming. It's time to let it be easy.